Hey everyone, Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com and I hope you're having a great day and crushing your to-do list. A few weeks back, I posted a video that shows the history of the between the legs shot and how it ain't no trick shot no more. Sonny Milano pulled off one we hadn't seen before and that was how far away from the net he was when he released the shot, around the hash marks with two players breathing down his neck. Sweet little tally. The very next week, we had our first between the legs shot from a female player, at least it was the first gal I've seen Barry with this high-end shooting technique. This was no other than Alder Grove, British Columbia native and Minnesota Golden Gopher, Amy Potomac, who pulled off this move not too long ago in a shootout versus Wisconsin. I dug a little deeper online and found this little gem. Apparently a couple years earlier, Miss Potomac scored the exact same way playing for the Pacific Steelers. Amy, thank you for showing all the young girls out there what's possible, and I can't wait to start seeing more of you young females out there scoring with this shooting method. Miss Potomac, you got some sick mitts, girl. If that wasn't enough for the week, there was another first timer I haven't seen before, and that was the between the legs one timer scored by Calgary's Matthew Kachuk, with less than a second remaining in overtime versus the Predators. Holy macaroni, was that sweet! Yes, it was, but after I saw that goal, I thought to myself, how the heck does a player prepare for that scoring opportunity? Because I haven't been training players for it, that is, until now. I spent the day doing lessons I had recently and introduced this scoring situation. Only a couple of the girls saw the Kachuk goal, but when I showed it to them, they couldn't wait to give it a try. I have the player out roughly 10 feet away from the net facing sideways. The stick always starts in front of the body until I make the pass. They then make the transition, bringing the stick from in front to between the legs. The top hand has to shoot out in front of the body and do your best to just get the puck on net. Then it's grinding it out, taking shot after shot. What I noticed with all the players I tested this drill with was that their second round was more consistent than the first, where they were getting more power on the shot, were hitting the net more, and some scored a goal or two. The next progression I found challenging and builds on the first drill I did with the girls was to add a pass and then take the shot. You first have to make a good pass, then quickly get the stick between the legs in time in order to make the shot. First handful of attempts, I felt awkward and rushed, but was surprised at how fast the awkwardness went away and more comfortable it got really quick. Now I'm retired from any on-ice team or skills training, but if I was still working on the ice, I'd have a couple coaches on either side of the net and one after another have players skate in and the coach makes a pass behind the body and see what happens. All I try to do for players is prepare them for as many scoring opportunities out there as possible, and this can be 100% done off ice. Matthew Kachuk has just given us one more way to bring crowds to their feet, so thank you Matthew. So what if you want to start working with me, but you don't live in Minnesota? Not a problem, as coach has you covered, and I'll come to you. You see, everything that I teach players here can also be accessed here at OnlineHockeyTraining.com from anywhere on the planet. There you'll find the world's largest database of off-ice stick handling and shooting drills. Yeah, how many drills are we talking about here? Currently, the number exceeds 1,000 drill videos and keeps growing as new drills keep popping into my brain, so I don't know how big this will eventually get. Holy catnip, that's a lot of drills. Appreciate it. If you're looking for ways on how to improve these, head on over to OnlineHockeyTraining.com because I can help. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notifications button or you'll be missing out. Well, that's the old rap ski for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please throw me a like and share it with someone in your hockey circle. Coach would appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Remember to dream big, bigger than everyone else, and always be putting in the work. I'll see you next time.